Hey, drunken uncle. Yo. This bitch who thinks magic is real and can heal the universe? Yeah, well, consider this a challenge. I look forward to it. Ah, all right then, motherfucker. I've got your challenge. Let's do it. Hey, guys. It's Hello. Today, I want to talk about is witchcraft real and how magic actually works. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I fuck, I've got Once Upon a Time running on Netflix right now. Yeah, let's fuck. Let's go. There is something to be said about the power that we hold within us. It's something so deep and so real and so strong that there is people always trying to take that away from us. That pine cone behind you is going to catch fire. They try to make us fear our magic or completely forget it. Shit, see, I must be one of those people who was made to forget about it because th th this is all brand new information to me. But now I do know about it, so I'm ready to learn how to shoot lightning bolts from my hands. We are all beings of light. I'm a bean of light. We are all beings of light made up of vibrations and energy. Don't objectify me. There's a person behind the energy and vibrations you know. It's like Nikola Tesla said, if you want to understand the universe, you must understand energy and vibrations. Yeah, but he wasn't talking about magic, was he? Now teach me to breathe fire like a dragon. It's true. Some of us have led a more difficult life, and this does lead to lower vibrations in comparison to those who live a really full and rich life with higher vibrations. Yeah, no, that's that's true, actually. That's why buses make so much noise when they go past. It's, it's not the engines. It's actually the poverty-stricken passengers vibrating in their seats. Luckily, if you are one of these people that are stuck in a vibrational rut, you have the power to change it. You are a magical being. <laughs> oh, I'm a magical being. And you have the power of thought. I'm a thinking magical being. You have a mind that can unleash powerful projections in the world around you. I'm a projecting thinking magical being. If you're still not convinced, well, this is the power of a witch, and I'm here to tell you how powerful and how much magic you actually have inside of you. Except you're not, are you? You're going to tell me what a witch is instead. A witch is a wise woman or man. It is someone who is aware fully of their power, and they use it to help others and, and create a balance with the universal energy around them. Okay, it's not exactly Harry Potter at the moment, but carry on. Many witches use their energy and power to change the world for the better. Really? No one uses their power to fuck shit up? I'd use my power to fuck shit up. Whether it's bettering themselves so they can give more to others, or willing with their inspirational light. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. What was that? Or willing with- Was that magic? Yes, there is dark magic, and some people who are aware of their full potential and their power use it to harm others. Oh, it's about fucking time. Right, here we go. Or create negativity and lower vibrations. Remember, there cannot be light without darkness. That's just really shit. Magic is lame. The most amazing thing of all of this is that you do not need to be a witch or spiritual guru to possess any of these powers. Like positivity and negativity? That's not a witch, that's a fucking magnet. Because all of these powers are already within you. I bet the phrase, be careful what you wish for, is really starting to make some sense now. Oh, do you know what? I hope that pine cone does catch on fire now. Fucking hell. Everything around you in this moment, physically or emotionally, was attracted by you at some point. It's energy that you had put out and now you are receiving it from the universe. I fucking dare you to say that to a rape victim. Your happiness, anger, richness, or bad health is all a projection on this three-dimensional level that all came from your thoughts. Yeah, exactly. Don't bother taking your insulin, mate. Just think positive. In a nutshell, this is all the basic knowledge of magic and how it works. So with that being said, yes, witchcraft is real. How real? Very real. Oh, all right then. By working with your subconscious mind, you become aware of your conscious mind and your conscious thoughts and everything you're putting out into the universe so that you can attract. That's it, girl. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, now let's talk about the magical part. The what, you mean it gets more magical than that? The part where we cast spells and we set our intentions because we know the power we have within our thoughts and our bodies. Right, we're able to work with the universe and create and manifest into our physical life. Fucking hell, I'm desperate to keep this video under 10 minutes. So when you're working spells, using tools and candles, incense and oils... That sounds like you're running a dodgy massage parlor. You're pushing away all the other thoughts, all the other distractions, and you're focusing so much time, energy and effort into this one 
moments. Oh, I've had shits like that. Oh, mercy. Like the teachings of Buddha, you are here enjoying the present. Obviously not as much as you love, whatever you're taking, drunken uncle wants in. You are fully releasing the past and not worrying about the future. No? Not even the future of your mental health? Once you are done with your spell or- What spell? You've still not taught us anything! I wanna grow wings! Prayer, you release this energy into the universe and whatever you had and set your intention for will either come back for you or cut the cord from it. So it either will happen or it won't. Magic. This is the power of prayer in unity and in large groups. Ah, oh, don't tell me you've joined a cult. When a lot of people get together to pray over something and everyone has their intentions set in the same vibration, lots of magic is bound to happen. Well then explain to me how Gareth Southgate missed the penalty against Germany in the semi-finals of Euro 96. People get together to pray for the recovery of a loved one, bad health or bad situations. They Sorry, people are praying for bad health and bad situations. Oh, well, I hope they get them. They put so much energy because together they're working. It's like if you take a grouping of crystals. Oh, bloody crystals. So in a sense, the bigger the better <laughs> when it comes to crystals and when it comes to groups of people trying to work bigger magic. There's so many documentations of, I doubt there are. of these miraculous stories where people have made full recoveries on their deathbed because of the power of prayer. Yeah, fuck modern medicine, fucking mugs game. Together we are so powerful and we tend to forget this because this is what society has taught us. Whoa, it's getting a bit SJW now, easy. The power of thought is a magnificent thing. Not as much as the power of love. Huey Lewis and the news, that's my shit. Magic will only work if you believe it and if you allow it to work for you. So you say that, but I bet you won't be running full pelt at the wall in King's Cross Station, will you? It's much like a talisman that someone wears for protection or abundance. It only works because the wearer believes that it works. Well, that's fucking convenient, isn't it? It's like someone's bleeding to death in front of you and you're all It's not that the protection talisman didn't work, Gary. It's that you didn't believe in it enough and now you've been stabbed. Next time someone asks you or says that they don't believe in magic, they don't believe in witchcraft or spells and the power that they can emit, Turn him into a frog! Remind them that everything in this universe is just made up of energy and when you're working magic and spellcraft, you're simply just putting out energy. If I say that, they are gonna laugh in my face. And, and you know, they're, they're right to. They are right to laugh in my face. Let them know that energy is scientifically proven. So in a way, witchcraft, magic, spells, prayer, meditation, any of those things are also scientifically proven. I think someone's being a bit generous with their statements, aren't they? We're all just energy. We're all just made up of our thoughts. Everything around me, my home, my life, is all a projection of what I had thought a couple years ago, a couple months ago. And I'm guessing none of those thoughts were about fire safety when you put that pine cone next to that candle. That house is going to burn down, and as the coroner stands over your still smouldering corpse, they will remark that you should have had more belief in your protection talisman. Everything in my life, right now, and what is to come, is all because I put it there. Have I somehow wandered into a self-help seminar? I made it happen with the power of my thoughts. And that is the strongest magic, aside from love, that you can ever show or share with anyone. You are joking me. No fireballs at all. A fucking waste of time. Start thinking of everything in the terms of energy and vibration and you will get it. Everything will become so much more clear to you. Yeah, all right. I mean, I'll give it a go, but if my house isn't full to the ceiling with Asian women by 2018, I'm calling bullshit. And you will never find yourself having a bad day again because you will know how to change that energy and you will know how to raise your vibration. Better yet, you could buy something that vibrates at three different speeds. That'd cheer you up. Anyway, thanks for that one, kind heathen. That was a fucking slog, mate. But now it's my turn to send one to you, and I'm thinking something to do with midgets. And to all you easily entertained viewers, remember, positivity, not chemotherapy.